it's Tadia and this is my integrated crosser. So I'm kind of excited today because my camera just came in today and uh, since we're all under quarantine, I thought that it would be a good opportunity for me to test it out. So I let the camera charge overnight and I also did my hair because this is going to be the very first vlog with the new camera and I wanted to be presentable. Um, also, I got my car parts. Um, it's actually the side skirts that I've been waiting for the crosser. Um, I don't know if you guys watched my previous video, I actually lost or I bent um, one of the side skirts for the crosser and I had to buy a new set so finally has arrived so this vlog is probably gonna be me um, installing the side skirts just to test out the camera uh, it is also on auto mode right now because it's a new camera I, ha I have not um, messed with the settings just yet because I'm still learning the camera so yeah here we go As a bonus, I also got my splitter brackets from Kiwi. So thank you again, Kiwi. So here's the replacement side skirts set and the splitter brackets. So installation should be pretty quick since I already have these brackets installed. Um, on the car. If you guys want to know, um, want to learn how to do that, um, here's a link to my video that shows you basically the walkthrough of how to install this P1 side skirts. And here are the rest of the hardware. Since I'm only going to be replacing one side of the side skirts, which is the passenger side, I'm only, I'm only gonna need like half of these, which is awesome because then I have spares. Okay, so I moved the other car out of the garage so that I have more space to work um, on the crosser. And also since I'm dealing with a long car part, I don't wanna scratch the other car. So uh, I did notice something um, different with the new newer side skirts and then let me show you what it is. So the side skirt on the right is my old side skirt that I damaged during my previous track day. As you can see, there's a little bit of a, it's bent. That's why it's actually able to stand on the side by itself because it's bent over here. And uh, here's the new one that's a lot more smoother and straighter. So the interesting part that I wanted to show you is right here. So in the older versions, the first set that I got, I actually had to modify this piece by trimming it or cutting it just a little bit because it wouldn't, it would not install onto the car um, as is. And that's why I had to modify it. But as you can see in the newer versions, I guess they figured that out that it wasn't fitting right. So they made, um, the newer versions with this cutout right here. So now I don't have to do any modifications and it'll bolt right up. So these are pretty much the only hardware that I need to install the side skirt. I was only able to save one set from the previous side skirt. So I'm just gonna grab two more sets from this um, Ziploc bag and then save the rest for as spares. So it looks like that I might need to make some adjustments on the bracket before I can mount the side skirt. So 
Let's do that first. So much for watching i know that this is a really short video but i kind of want to test out a new camera thought that this would be a good opportunity to do that before i get into a more elaborate project uh, now i'm actually looking forward to driving the car again because i've been driving with one side skirt missing <laughs> so i can't wait to get back on the road also i have to keep in mind that for my next track day if i were to damage a, a side skirt i would Try and aim for the driver's side this time because I have a spare. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on your notifications so that every time I upload a new video, you guys get notified. Other than that, stay tuned. Bye!